Hey there, this is Googie from Next Architecture. In this video, I will share with you how to use Next Street add on. Simply, when you click on Draw Street, the pen tool will show up to start drawing. And for better drawing results, we recommend viewing the scene from the top by pressing 7 on the numpad. We have two ways to draw cursor and surface. Cursor is to draw freely in the 3D space, and if we want to make an intersection, I simply draw a line over the existing street. As for the surface way, we can draw on any object that we have in the scene, and we can also make intersections. It's the same way as the cursor way, but on the surface of any object. You can control the street width as you like. When the width is set to 1, the street will be divided into two lines. And if we increase the width to 2, the street will be divided into four lines. And so on. You can also control the sidewalk width simply to increase the width of the sidewalk to your preference. Let's talk about the light feature and its parameters. We have different variations of lights that you can choose from. Once you choose the street lights that you prefer, you can control many parameters to your preferences. The first parameter is spacing. Spacing is the space between each light. Change it to your preferences. We have shift. Shift is used to move all the lights at once. You may use it to prevent intersections with other elements. Next we have Scale. Scale is used to control the size of all the objects at once. Next we have Light Color, which is used to pick the light that you prefer to fit with your scene mode. And finally we have Hide Viewport, which is used to hide the object from the viewport to optimize it for your scene but it will still show in the render. For any of these features buttons, they can be toggled on or off. Let's talk about the characters feature and its parameters. Firstly, the characters we have here are animated. Once you enable it, a number of characters will appear on the scene. You can control the density as you like. Increase it to have more characters and decrease it to have less characters. And we have the seed parameter, which is used to randomize the position of the characters. Let's talk about the benches feature and its parameters. For now, we have three types of benches. The parameters for the benches are almost the same as the parameters for the lights feature, which includes spacing, shift, and scale, which serve the same controls as well. Next, let's talk about the cars feature and its parameters. The cars we have here are also animated. Once you enable it, a number of cars will appear on the scene. You can control the density as you like, increase it to have more cars, and decrease it to have fewer cars. The parameters for the cars are speed, seed, and density, which we have already explained how they work in the previous features. But we have one more parameter, which is the one-way, two-ways parameter, which is used to change the direction of the cars, as when we set it to zero, it's going to be one way, and when we set it to one, it's going to be two ways. Let's talk about the trees feature and its parameters. We have different variations of trees. The parameters for the trees are almost the same as the parameters for lights feature, which includes spacing, shift, and scale which serve the same controls as well. Next, let's talk about the bus stop feature and its parameters. We have three bus stops for now, which you can place them wherever you want, and the parameters for the bus stops are almost the same parameters for the lights feature as well, which includes spacing, shift, and scale, which serve the same controls as well, and we have explained how they work already. Let's talk about the imperfections feature and its parameters. Imperfections are self-explanatory title. In this case, we have trash objects and leaves, which work as imperfections. You can place them around in the scene if you want, and you may also control the density depending on whether you want a lot of trash or leaves in your scene or not. Let's talk about the surfaces feature and its parameters. As for now, we have three trash cans, a fire hydrant, and an advertisement board. The parameters for this one are also the same in the lights feature, where we can control the spacing shift and the scale of the object. Let's talk about the signs feature and its parameters. 
The parameters are self-explanatory. We have explained it many times in the futures. And the parameters for this one are spacing, shift, and scale, which we can control as we prefer to fit the scene. And lastly, let's talk about the materials feature and its parameters. We have the sidewalk material. And for now, we have eight different materials to choose from. We have the brick line material. And for now, we have three different materials to choose from. Next, we have the wet parameter, which is used to add realistic water, adding the wet effect to the street. Control the wet height to fit your scene. Next, we can control the color of the street middle line simply by the color picker right here choose the color you like to fit your scene you can also switch between single or double lines by changing this parameter and you can make the lines connected to each other by changing the length of the lines with this parameter and that's it for this video now you are fully equipped of how to use this add-on get creative with it and get wild this add-on is available on Blender Market if you haven't got it yet. And if you have any more questions, feel free to manage us on our Discord help server or on our Blender Market account. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment about this tutorial.